Hey guys, we're going to be taking an overview of the iSimple IF77. Um, when I did the first overview in, uh, video of it, I didn't really give an um, example of the audio quality. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my iPod Nano because I'm recording with my iPhone. But, um, I have two inputs set up here. One of these is uh, the 30-pin dock connector, as you can see. Another one, which I made come out of the center console, is a auxiliary um, input. So you can use this for any um, MP3 player, and this will work for Apple, uh, you know, devices. So I'm going to use this one first and plug it in to my Nano. <clears throat> As you can see, it is now charging. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just play something random here. Lock, so let me unlock it. There we go. My brother's iPod, so I'm going to go on here. Okay. That is on there. <clears throat> then I have a power switch over here to make sure everything is connected. Um, this is the power switch for the iSimple. So it will make sure that it's blocking out all your signals. Go ahead, turn up the volume, and you can hear it's perfect. Turn up the volume some more up here. The speaker up here, you can hear. Try a different song. I don't want copyright infringement. Yes, I can see you. See you. See every girl here wanna be you. As you can tell, the subwoofer still kicks. I just put the phone underneath there, and you probably heard it as well. I think I have everything all full up here. Bass high, it sounds great. All right, so now that I showed you this cable, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna hook up the auxiliary cable. And there it goes. Put the phone over here. Grab this. Disconnect that. Here's the cable. I'm just gonna. Trying to get it in shot here, but it's really hard. But it's alright. Alright, there we go. Uh, go ahead. And uh, here. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sound quality is a little bit louder and better with the auxiliary cable hooked up. So let's go ahead and change the song again. Don't want copyright, like I said. as well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the song again. You can hear the bass again, it's really good. In this song you probably hear the surround. Um, you know, how you know it sounds. You do have to keep the level on here a little bit louder than you would if you were playing a CD, because it is going through an FM modulator, you have to keep that in mind. But sound quality is, I would say, it's close enough. You won't be able to uh, tell a difference between the two unless you're an audiophile and you just, you're, you know, you're good with audio, but... I, th I find it hard to tell sometimes. It depends on the song, really, though. But then, um, for some other random stuff here. You can tell the bass is good here as well. Alright, just go to one last song. 
and we'll walk around to the other side and go underneath the sun for free guys. I hear the sub for going. I can feel it at least, tell you that. You can take my word for it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna shut this down. I don't want copyright. Alright. So you guys are probably wondering how I got to hook up um, this headphone cable along with the 30 pin dot connector right so let's start with how I ran the wires <clears throat> okay so the aux cable is coming through the center console as you can see it goes down there and then it comes around and back here there's the aux cable I loosen the screw, put it through there, this part right here just pops off, and then I sent the cable through there. This cable box, I sent it through the center console and goes straight up, so but we'll go back to the front seat and show you that. And then, here's the other cable. This one, I usually just tuck underneath in here, right? because I don't normally use the cable very much, but it's helpful when I run the GPS on my iPhone, you know, I put it up to the the windshield mount, and then I keep it going. Uh, I can use that to charge my iPhone, and uh, use the navigation along with music. So I usually keep the wire tucked underneath here, and just put it in here. So I'll do that right now. Part's a little messy, I'm just getting ready to clean it. And then there we go. The aux cable comes around here, down, you probably can't see it, but it goes through there. <clears throat> Both cables meet up right here at the center uh, console near the firewall. They work their way up. And I hooked up a Y splitter and hooked in both the 30 pin and the aux cable. Um, I, I won't be taking it apart right now to show you guys, but uh, in the future if I'm ever under there, which I probably will be, I'm um, thinking about getting a, another. I'm thinking about getting a USB connector, as well. So if I am in that, you know, I open it up and I'm under behind the radio. I'll show you the setup I have there. So thanks for watching. If you have any, if you have any more questions, the iSimple IS77. Let me know and uh, leave a comment below or send me a PM. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.